So my first selection was For They Loved the Praise of Men More Than the Praise of God by Eldon Tanner in 1975. Um, I learned from this selection about the importance of living worthily of the priesthood and how that is important. Um, the priesthood is an unselfish uh, service. You can't benefit yourself from from holding the priesthood unless you're serving others. You know, you can't lay your hands upon your own head. And this really applies to me because um, oftentimes I find myself in situations where I am the only priesthood holder there and the only one that understands how that works. And it's important for me to know, you know, even when no one else is watching that understands that I am worthy of the priesthood and able to, uh, you know, utilize that power. Um, specifically, changes I'm going to make is I'm, I need to make sure that even my thoughts are still in harmony with the Spirit. Sometimes I either get too angry or frustrated or sarcastic, and it can um, turn away the Spirit and that in turn helps you to lose that priesthood power. So that is something that I want to better align myself with. My second selection was Matthew chapter 23, also on question number four. And the biggest thing that I learn out of this is to, if you're going to talk the talk, you got to walk the walk. You can't be a hypocrite on on different things that we, we talk about. You know, I can't you know, tell people that they should love other people if I'm not loving and serving them myself. Um, and to me, I feel like I need to better myself by making sure that I, in my new calling with the missionaries, I want to make sure that I actually go with the missionaries um, at least weekly to help them with lessons or go over their... Um, planning sessions, um, and to be able to help them and our ward grow, because it's really them supposed they're supposed to be helping us do the missionary work. So that's one way that I feel like I need to better align myself in is to avoid asking people to do stuff that I'm not doing. Um, and my third selection was for question five: Nothing shall offend them by David A. Bednar's. October conference talk in 2006. Um, I learned from this se section selection um, that I've heard this one before actually, and I really like it. And it's the perspective on how you are offended, and it takes it out of the hands of the other person and puts it in your own. Because I know that Heavenly Father puts everything in our own ability to decide. So if we decide that we are offended or we think that somebody offended us, it's still our conscious choice to be offended no matter what the other person is doing. So we have to decide that, and it's our choice to be offended or to not be offended. And for me, I feel like oftentimes I'm too touchy and when I get stressed or when I have a lot of burdens placed upon me, and especially with my family relationships, that I need to decide to not be offended more and focus on making sure that I'm doing everything I can right first before I, you know, lose it about something else. So that's something that I feel like I need to work on that will help me align my life with the principle of of uh, what David A. Bednar was teaching. And uh, those were my three selections, and I really feel like it can help me in my life and help grow my testimony and my relationships around me, especially one with my Heavenly Father.